After all, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we did the penultimate task for the Thieves Guild, we acquired the boots of Spring Hill Jack, and now we're on the ultimate heist. We have to steal an Elder Scroll. I know. Shut up, guard, I'm busy. So apparently in order to actually get this Elder Scroll, we have to sneak into the Imperial Palace, and to do that, we have to do a whole bunch of random bullshit. For example, we need the boots welcome and the Arrow of Extrication in order to actually get to where we're going, and we have to sneak in, activate something called the Glass of Time, and the Grey Fox doesn't even really know what this is, and then that will allow us to enter some place called the Old Way in the sewers, and then from the Old Way we can actually sneak into the palace, kind of like a secret entrance if you will, and then that way we can actually get to, uh, the Elder Scroll, because the only people out there are going to be blind monks, and they can't see us, so they don't know we're not supposed to be there, but everyone else on the way is going to get alerted, so... That's why you can't just bust in now. Oh, okay, that was, that was easy. I hear a guard somewhere, and he, we need to get out of here. He sounds like he's right next to me. Shit. Well, anyways, check the journal, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I would imagine you could probably just bust in, but maybe you can't. Oh, okay, so, we just have to find the old way now, so I guess we need to find a sewer grate. But yeah, like I say, I assume there's an option to just bust on in and just alert everybody and mass slaughter all the guards, but that would be extremely dangerous, because guards in Oblivion are ridiculously overpowered. Maybe if your character's good enough, you can do that, but we're gonna do it legit, because it's more fun that way. So anyway, I'm gonna find a sewer grate, and I'll cut you back in when I do. Okay, apparently what we're looking for- oh, it's right there. Wow, I am blind as hell. Well, that was handy, but, uh, hey, can you imagine trying to do this without map markers? You'd have to sneak into the palace, sneak around where you're not supposed to be, not get spotted, and somehow find the glass of time hidden in the freaking corner, and then somehow find a sewer grate in the Imperial City, and then find your way around the sewers. It would be insane. Absolutely freaking insane. Why am I even picking this lock? I mean, I've started, so I guess the was all- God damn it. You know what, let's just use the damn unlock spell that we have. I don't know why I seem to break lock picks on the easier locks than I do on the hard ones. Maybe it's like overconfidence or something. Right, apparently I didn't actually put it on the quick mark, could have sworn I did. Where the hell is it? Uh, there, okay. Right, let's put this thing on, yeah, we'll put it on six. I don't really ever use the ice thingy. Yes, that that's what we're calling it, the ice thingy. Open sesame. Really, it went through the gates? Really? Thank you. <laughs> Would have been easier to pick the damn thing. What the hell? Oh, it's a mug crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I can miss you. The maid's gonna kill it first. Well, at least I hit the guy. This is the problem with the maid. As handy as she is, she steals a lot of experience from me, because, uh, the way it works in, I think, every Elder Scrolls game, or at least Oblivion and Skyrim, is you don't get EXP for kills or anything like that. You get EXP per hit, so... If I just spam a bunch of fireballs at someone, I'll get destruction EXP. However, the quicker they die, the less chance I get to do that, so... Oh, God. Let's get the crap out of me. So even though she's not directly stealing the EXP exactly by getting the kills, she's killing them quicker, so they're not alive long enough for me to actually hit them, so... She's a little bit detrimental, but uh, at the same time, she's kept me alive, so... Can't really complain. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. Okay, I assume we go over here. I'm just trying to... Oh, get out of here. I'm just trying to generally follow the arrow, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's like a freaking maze down here. A very big maze. This is the other thing that I've mentioned a couple of times that's a little bit annoying about Oblivion, because, uh, because all the enemy encounters are leveled. For example, if we come here at a much later level, even though we'd be in the same area, we wouldn't be fighting rats and mud crabs, we'd be fighting, you know, goblin warlords and stuff like that, so the combat would be more interesting. At the same time, it would take a lot longer, because they have tons of freaking HP, but you get my point, so... Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, Oblivion's not a perfect... It looks like we might be running into vampires here. I'm not that see any. I see a coffin, though. Coughing. But, uh, yeah, I believe it's far from a perfect game, but still, it's fun as hell. As long as we level up, you know, fairly quickly. I think when we get to 10, we should start running to some new shit. We'll definitely get some new equipment by 10, so, uh, yeah. And I would imagine we must be close by now, because we've been 9 for quite some time. And we just got some potions, and that reminds me, I should really go to a freaking alchemy store and buy some, or just make some myself, but it's one of those things I just forget all of the time, and we are constantly almost out of potions, so... Yeah, really should probably do that after this, assuming I live long enough. Hello? I... There's nothing around here, really? I mean, I got some old okay with that, but like, holy shit. Oh my god, a very hard look. I'm not even entirely sure we're supposed to be here, so you know what? We're not even gonna pick that. Let's go the other way. Where'd the maid go? Oh, you're behind me. Stop doing that! Hello? Enemies? Uh, hey, we found something. It's a skeleton buddy. Guys, oh, it's a skeleton guardian. That's... maybe we're supposed to be running to them by the cell. I don't remember the actual levels of the yeah. thing spawn. I just know, you know, 30 is the cap, so... 
Once you be on level 30, you start not running to anything new, but you keep getting more powerful. So I'm not entirely sure what the max level is on Oblivion, but pretty sure I remember having a character in the 50s. So yeah, up to 30, we should still unlock new shit. So maybe we're supposed to run into those guys. I know they are far from the most dangerous skeletons. I think heroes or maybe champions. Was that a champion? I don't freaking know. I know heroes are tough. They might be the most powerful skeletons, but uh, yeah, hopefully we don't run into none of those because those guys will kick the shit out of me right now, like really badly. And I still don't know if we're going the right way. There are so many freaking options here. This is ridiculous. Okay, we gotta turn that. I don't know why we're doing that, but we're doing it just cause. Let's get all misty and stuff. Oh, hello. Burn, you bony son of a bitch. Burn. Aha, uh -huh, can't catch me. And, okay. Can be caught me. It'd be real nice if the dad would actually activate, and it'd also be really nice if, you know, the maid would help me instead of just crouching there, glowing, doing jack shits. And now, and now you, you're just gonna get, yeah, you're gonna get in my way. God damn it, maid, move! Yeah. Jesus Christ. You freaking idiots. And you have nothing. Get out of my sights. Okay. Oh, I hear someone. Where the hell are you? Oh, you're there. Well, you sneaky son of a bitch. I assume this guy's a vampire, because otherwise, why would there be a bunch of coffins around and skeletons, you know? Won't make much sense, but you never know, it's Oblivion. Maybe it's an adventurer or something in the sewers. I think I actually got that kill. Get out of the damn way. Are you a vampire? Yes, you are. Okay, fantastic. That means we get vampire dust, which is handy. The bad side, of course, is we're probably going to get infected again, but we do have a bunch of cure disease potions. So, you know, we should be okay as long as I don't forget about it. But the problem is I always forget about it, and then I end up becoming a vampire. It's a giant pain in the dick. Right, so is there anyone else around here? Is there any levers or anything? Is there any- Oh god, the, what the Jones! hell? There's an extremely Jones! armored fella, who I also assume is a vampire. You- What? Why does that seem to be doing- Oh, Jesus Christ, he's a knight. I'm pretty sure, and I may be wrong about this, but that's like one of the most powerful types. Look at him, he's kicking the crap out of me. He's got like no HP bar. Oh, this ain't good. We are gonna have to one-shot this guy with this dagger and we are dying. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are very much dying. But, buddy, if you... We run out of charges on the goddamn dagger. This is bad timing. Like, really bad timing. We do have one Vala Stone, so... I guess we should probably use that, because otherwise... We are screwed. Like, absolutely screwed, because apparently this guy just takes so little damage that it's not even reflected on his HP bar. It sucks that we have to use that, but, you know... We have to use that, because if we don't want shot him, he is going to kill us. Like, no damn doubt. Even the mate ain't doing damage. Buddy, thank you. My god. Yoink! Okay, time to loot this bastard. Oh my god, you are packed on stuff. And we got a vampire chest key. Interesting. Don't know where the hell that is. Hopefully it's gonna be close. Otherwise, it could be anywhere down here. Anyway, give me a moment here to bank all this shit. Okay, the crap has been put away now. Hopefully we find the guy's chest around here somewhere, because, like I say, I don't... Oh. Hey! That's it. <laughs> More shit to over and me. Luckily it didn't, but we're pretty damn close. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, if it wasn't close by... It could literally be anywhere in the sewers, and that would have really sucked. And I still don't know if we're going... Well, we clearly have gone the right way so far, because the arrow is green now, which means we're close. But, uh, how close are we is the question, because... Probably the sewer's gone for quite some freaking time. Hey, wolf buddy. What you doing over there? Can, can I kill him before he gets to me? No is the answer to that. God damn it. You stole my kill again. Get out of here. We actually need your help, you just stand there staring at me not doing jack shit, but no, on a, like a mud crab or something, you rush in. Like you're protected, you suck. Okay, so it looks like we have to go through here, which means we need to lower those gates, which means we need another lever. Is it this one? Um, it doesn't seem to be. What did, oh, it shut the gate, god damn it. Okay, so I assume we don't want to shut that gate, so we should probably open it again. Just in case, because if we end up coming back around that way and then that gate shot, that's really gonna freaking suck. Right, so where is the- oh, there's a skeleton right there. Holy shit, I'm blind. And I see another gate there. Leave on whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, that guy was weak. Fantastic. Okay, so I assume that's what we want. What do we get? Eh, a jerk? Well, it's tempted to take that, but it's not worth very much. You know, if we got that like 10 hours ago, maybe. Do you have anything good? No. No, you don't. You even have a crappy axe. You suck. Okay, so assumably that's the thing we need to lower the gates, otherwise I don't know what to do. Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> nice arrow in your arm there. Sorry about that. In fact, no, I'm not. Screw you. You keep getting in the damn way and stealing my kills. Hey, hey I actually killed something, and there's a ghost over there. Rot roll, Raggy. Okay, let's see if we can kill... 
Damn, I was gonna say, let's see if we can kill this guy now again here, but no! He hits me straight away and she almost just shot me. Watch what you're doing with that damn rainbow magic. I know what you like. You are very fucking dangerous with that stuff. Oh, okay. Didn't realize we had a key for that. Oh, maybe that's... In fact, no, I don't know where we got that key. I was gonna say it was from the Great Fox, but... I don't think it was. Oh, freaking no. More potions? Yes. Okay, fantastic. And we found the palace sewers, apparently. Okay. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but I was hoping we'd actually be in the palace by now, but no, it looks like we're still in the sewers. Right, so there's a gate there, and it looks like there's a bunch of stuff below us, and I can hear enemies, so, uh... I'm assuming we'll get there eventually. One of we'll just let the maid deal with it for now. And before I forget, let's check the journal, because it just updated. Oh. Okay. Need to find the old way. That's what I was doing anyway. Hey, you random wolf. <laughs> I love the way there's a wolf just sitting there. How am I missing this guy? What the... You ghost wolf or something? I literally cannot hit that. This is such bullshit. You know what? You can just die to the dagger of death. I like that. Dagger of death. It's got a nice ring to it. Come on, buddy. Come on. And yeah, uh, hey, we actually stole his soul and everything. Again, you might get something for getting a certain amount of them, I really don't remember. Maybe it's just arbitrary and doesn't actually do anything, and maybe it seems to be down here. Yes? Yeah. You're gonna find a vampire buddy and a skeleton. I'll save you. The tables have turned. Yeah. Uh, eventually. Hint, hint. If I can ever kill this guy. No. <laughs> yeah, but apparently you will just kick the crap out of him on your own. Was that nice? My god. Duh. Oh, okay. He did. Right, so there's a bunch of coffins down here, which I assume are gonna have booty in them, and you, sir, oh, it's a rogue. And you, sir, have vampire dust in a potion, and frankly, I couldn't really ask for more. It's sad, really, when you think about it, that one vampire dust is worth more than, like, I don't know, a dwarven chess piece or something. I mean, you know, because of the reduction you actually get from Senate, because it's never worth the actual price that it says, so. Yeah, it's kinda silly, but we can't really ask for anything better than vampire dust, at least not at this point in the game. And we got some human blood and a spoon. We need that spoon for later. I don't know why, but I felt like taking the damn spoon. And now we're over in Cumber. God damn it. I blame the spoon, quite frankly. And I can't use my chest because apparently there are enemies around. Oh, that sucks. Well, maybe we need to repair some shit. Where's my hammers? There they are. No, we don't need to repair jack shit. Well, we do, but we can't because it's enchanted and we don't have that perk yet. Okay, let's just get rid of the damn steel greaves. Oh, and kick them. <laughs> I love physics. Because, uh, you know, they're not really worth that much to us at this point. I would like to keep them, but it's no great loss. And I see a shadow there. Oh, God, it's another wolf. Duh. You're gonna, you gotta steal it, aren't you? Every goddamn time. Every goddamn time. I got a marksman level, though. Don't know if that was from uh, shooting the corpse. I don't think you can get level ups from shooting corpses, but it's also one of those things that wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. We've got some enchanted gauntlets. Nice. Okay, so we... Oh, it opens that. Okay. Is that where we want to go? It seems to be, because I don't see anything else around here. Again, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just roughly trying to follow this damn arrow, but it's like trying to follow an arrow in a freaking maze. And we've gone back to where we were, so I guess we need to go this way, which I guess that's a good thing, because we weren't exactly following the arrow properly. I remember this bit. I believe there are slaughter fish in the water down here. Don't know why this is the only bit I remember, but for some reason it's probably... I would imagine that I fell in there at some point and then got scared the crap out of by them, because... That's the sort of thing I would do. That's why it was probably in my mind, because it probably, it's like, you know, it's a horrible thing that I remember. I don't have a fear of water in video games exactly, but if there's water and then monsters down there to attack me, that's when water just becomes extremely creepy, so, uh, yeah, it's probably why I remember it. It's like a horrible ordeal that I went through at some points. Really wouldn't surprise me. Okay, it looks like we've got all of them. I'm gonna loot them just because we do need the scales for, uh, well, alchemy if we eventually do that. But if nothing else, I know we need at least one or two for some of the Midas Magic spells. Now, ideally, at some point, I'd like to make all of them. I don't know if we're ever gonna get our hands on that many gold nuggets, but... Whatever, man, we may as well collect the ingredients, ingredients when we know we need them. Are you gonna make it out on your own? My guts. I swear to God, sometimes as bad as the AI is in Oblivion, and it's real bad, I swear it is still better than Skyrim, because... Never mind, she's still in there. I was gonna say, because in Skyrim, followers just do not follow you properly. They got stuck on everything, but... In Oblivion, it seems a little bit better. It's still really bad, but... A little bit better. I see you down there, fish buddy. Okay, really? That missed you? That's bullshit. I also love the fact that you can set them on fire underwater. Right, there's another one down there. Hey, we actually got that one first time. Amazing. Now, there was three in the last one, we've only killed two, so I'm... Can I really use the bow underwater? I didn't expect that. I knew you could melee underwater, but, uh... That's kind of silly, but I like it. Okay, I don't see another one. Right, let's loot this puppy. 
Again, I don't know if we actually need this many scales, but just in case we eventually do alchemy, it might be a good idea. Maybe the scales aren't good for anything. I don't actually know what the hell you use them for in this, because I think the only thing I've ever made is like a basic potion or maybe a basic poison, because you do that in the tutorial. You don't have to, but uh, the game tells you to. What up, mug crab? Get out of here. Okay, so, ah, there's like a ruined bit of dory wall thing over there. What the hell is this guy doing? He's like moonwalking on the spots. That's, how am I missing this guy? It's the same thing that happened to the friggin' wolf. It's like it becomes invincible. Okay, so I assume this is the old way. Fan, testing, it's about damn time. Now, I assume this is gonna be like an alien ruin or something, so we finally actually reached our destination. Hooray! Gotta save it very quickly, cause damn. Okay, let's do this shit. Now, in case you're noticing a random jump in the uh, load screens when I go through a door, it's because I'm resetting the recordings, because sometimes Oblivion likes to crash. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often, but uh, the particular recording so I know this is boring, but I'm going to go through it anyway, but the particular recording software that I use, sometimes if it crashes whilst it's still recording, it corrupts part of the file. So, it's easier just every now and then when I save the game just to quickly reset the recording. That way, if it does corrupt the file, it will only corrupt it to the point where I last saved. So I don't have to re-record huge sections. So there you go. That's the boring reason for that. And these things are extremely fucking dangerous. We don't want to be near them. Okay, he's probably going to be trapped in there. And he's going to shoot you. No, he's not trapped. Good lord. Why is he not dying? Holy shit. And he's got a crappy saw. But they can will good ones, so... Uh, they're kind of handy for booty early on. I tend to find they have like particularly good swords usually. When I get a sword upgrade, I usually get it from one of those guys. Of course, now I've said that, they'll have nothing but shits. Because the game likes to prove me wrong time and time again. This guy's going to take quite some time to kill, isn't he? I think he's like a, a tougher version of the Wraith. Like, uh, I can't remember what the hell they're called, but uh, yeah. You have a lot of HP, sir. I may have to speed this up. Finally! My god, I knew that was going to be a slow kill, but holy shit, it was just a regular wraith! There's some, there's some bullshit going on there, because the last one died way quicker than that. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why was that one so damn tough? That was ridiculous. Like, absolutely freaking ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to go this way, because I assume this is going to be like a dead end with booty or something, because it seems like we're supposed to go the other way, so... Screw it, we're going here first. Bad damn time broke like a million freaking lockpicks on that door. It better be worth it. There's a trap. And it, uh... Doesn't say... What? <laughs> There's a ball and chain right there and the trap didn't even go off. Nice work, Bethesda. Your traps suck and you didn't even program it to actually work. Oh, shit. It's a lich. These things are really... It's a nether lich. Holy shit! Oh, my God. It nearly killed me already. Oh, my... No, 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 no. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to... Damn it, I'm dead! That's ridiculous! We should be running to the nether liches at this point in the game. We haven't even seen one freaking lich besides that one in the quest, but that's a regular one. That's like the tough version of a lich, and you saw how quickly that killed me. I assume Francesco's is doing that. Again, it's a good job we have the freaking maid, because we would be screwed. And apparently there are zombies here now, so there's cousins. Anyway, I'm going to get back to where we were, and I'll cut it out, and I'll see you there. Hopefully, that wraith doesn't come back. Okay, we're back, and luckily the Wraith did indeed not come back, and we're gonna go down this random side way, because it looks like- Oh, shh! That, sc that actually scared the crap out of me. I was really not expecting that. We're going down here, because as I thought, it's gonna be a dead end, so, uh... Yeah, we, we Oh my god, that, that actually genuinely scared the crap out of me. I looked up, and there was just this shadowy figure standing over me with a sword. Holy Christ! Anyway, so yeah, we're going down here because it's a dead end, and then we'll go check the other way, and hopefully the nether lich won't be back, but... Kinda worried it's gonna be, but again, you see what I mean? These guys normally have good swords, and I am over encumbered. God... Damn it. There we go, that's a lazy way of doing it, and that'll do for now. And it will eventually run out, and probably run out in the middle of me find something tough, but whatever, we'll deal with that situation when it arises. Oh, thank you, there are just skeletons here now, at least I don't... Think the lich is around here? No, it seems safe. Die! Yeah. And it doesn't seem like too tough of a skeleton, but it does have a shield, which is going to be a problem. But still, give me two of these fellows with shields any day over a nether lich. I'm not even kidding. Like a nether lich is literally like an end game enemy, like the sort of thing you run into at level 30. We're level nine. Nine. 
That's insane. That's ridiculous. Plus, we do have Francesco's on, which again is the reason that even spawned, I think. But it makes enemies tougher because it improves the AI and stuff like that, so. This ain't even vanilla oblivion, it's a little bit tougher, so. That plus an Everlich at level 9? That's some silly shits. Some very silly shit. And we could take one of those shields without going over encumbered. But I'm lazy and I don't want to do that, plus we'll eventually run out of uh, feather anyway, so. Screw that shits. Did we come from here? I don't think we did. Now, okay, well, what's in this direction? The gates. Okay, well, I guess we might as well keep going here, because why the hell not? And there's another skeleton. It's just. That was a hero! Luckily. Oh, shit! Stop doing that! Luckily, we uh, one shot it with the uh, Mayroon's Razor Ability thingy, but uh, yeah, again, that's like an end game skeleton. Might be the toughest one. I'd be surprised if it's not. Maybe champions are, but still. That's insane. If we didn't have the Maid of Doom with us, and I guess Mayroon's Razor to one shot the damn thing. Speaking of which, we'd be screwed right now, like really screwed. In fact, we kind of were screwed anyway, despite that, because the Nether Lich beat the shit out of me, so hopefully we don't run into another one of those, because good lord, that would really suck. It, luckily, it wasn't too long since the last time I checkpointed or saved or whatever the hell you were. Oh god, since the last. Oh. I thought I was gonna one shot over that. Since the last time I saved, but. Uh, ah. Yeah, had it been, that would have been really sucky. God ah. damn, what? It's another hero! Oh, that's no good. That, that's not in here, it's ah. very, very hard. Oh, we one-shot him again. Yes. Having said that, though, it does make the combat more interesting at lower levels, which is the damn reason I have it on in the first place, but uh, still. Needs a little bit of balancing. Not that it's ever going to happen, but that never lich. That was silly. Right, looks like there's nothing here anyway. Looks like a good place to end it here. Next time, we're going to that crack in the wall and hopefully find what we're looking for. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Oblivion.